Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Season 4, Episode 3 of the Bordeaux Career Mode here. Uh, coming up this episode, we got some two signings, two big signings. We're going to be spending about $100 million on them. Uh, we got some Champions League games here, um, qualifying stage against Porto, and then we'll play Troyes and PSG. Um, off camera, sim day, 2-1 win against Lens. Uh, we'll quick sim Troyes probably, and then there you have it, PSG. Massive, massive, massive game. Pretty sure if we beat Porto, we will go on and uh, get into the group stage. So we have a 5 2 lead. So as long as we don't bottle anything, should be chilling. Um, before we get any further, like the video if you enjoyed, because of course I know you have enjoyed every single second of it already. We're only not even a minute in, but I know you're enjoying it. Subscribe if you're new. Join the Discord link in the description. And uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Try it. Trying to get a thousand, trying to get a thousand subscribers here. That's the goal. But, um, you guys voted in the Discord to go for uh, Kingsley Coleman. Nine votes for Kingsley Coleman. But he doesn't want to join our league because Strict Transfers is on. That's my bad. Dharami had uh, zero votes. Lookman had six votes, I believe. Noah Lang had four, and Sinister had three. So, Adam and Lookman will be our second choice. He's, you know, I think he's actually better than Coleman for our for our suit, you know. Coleman's a lot more of just a pace pace monster, pace merchant kind of guy. But the Josh Major role was more of a attacking midfielder kind of, you know, I guess kind of target man, left winger. I don't really know how to describe it. We had him not really getting him behind as much, but kind of moving inside with uh, you see Adley, the attacking midfield formation, um, attacking midfield spot. But um, I believe. Renz Stavrene offered uh, 26 million for Indica, and he's got a release clause like 42, so hopefully we can get him for less. So we'll try 24 million, just kind of beat them in the middle here, and that should seal the deal. There it is, Evan Indica will be our backup center back because John Lakumi was starting at left center back role for the first team and the second team, and he's just it's going to gas him. So we need a, a solid left footed center back here, and I think that's exactly what we've got. Um. So we will get him in here. Rotational squad roll, perfect. So that would mean he's maybe 78 overall, maybe. Something like that. Something solid, which I'll totally take. A uh, three-year deal, make it a four-year deal. And we have a deal. Indeed, we do have a deal. How many times can I say deal? No release clause, that's a deal. Take away the appearance fee, and you have a deal. We have a deal. Love that. Evan and Dicka, welcome to the club. What do we got next here? Adam Muller Lookman. I think he has a release clause of in the, in the 60 millions. I would hope that he's probably the same overall as Josh Maja, like 82 overall maybe. So we'll start at 38, bit of a low offer. They went almost 60 million. That is ridiculous. No way will I be doing that. So we'll try 40. They're sticking to 60 million almost. That's that's crazy. I mean, that would say maybe he's like 83 overall with potential in the 85s maybe. They still want. I'm, I'm not going to pay that much money because right now, if we pay maybe 50, 55 million for Adam Lookman, we still have money to do more business in the January window. Because I am thinking of, uh, actually, who can we swap here? Well, we're going to swap Zarkon. I don't really like him that much. He's just gone out and loaned and grown one overall every year. Well, they're going to take some time to think about him. We'll see how that goes. So, simming this game here. Um against Porto, the second leg, we're up 5-2 on aggregate, we're just looking for one goal, to see a 4-goal lead, and then we'll quick sim it, but, um, yeah, I don't want to risk, don't want to risk anything, because Champions League is the priority this year, one more inside, tough angle, good finish by Lenartz, that will do, thank you very much, some result, 3-1 win, Medi got one goal for Porto, Baptiste Bonhomme got two, the Champions League draw, so we are in, Bordeaux, Who's our group? What's our group going like? Bayern Munich, Bordeaux, Villarreal, and the team from Hungary, I think. Fenevench, Cardio, Schulde, Wibble. Um, that'll be fun to say. So, Betis are okay with the swap deal for Metis Arcon. They're, they're willing to... Willing to think about that. So, if we could get maybe... You know, we just want to steer them a little bit more down. Let's try... Just right 47 and a half. It's a nice middle number there. Plus 7 million. That's about, yeah, look at that. 55 million. That's just what they wanted. 
perfect deal for all parties, I'd say. You know, we're getting rid of a Deadwood player. And then Betty's getting, well, our Deadwood player. Hey, you never know. Well, what's the saying? One man's trash is another man's treasure. Try that out. He's got a real face. He's got an in-game face. So I love that. So our, I'm already seeing some pros here. Not many cons on deal yet. How much money does he want? I'm going to try like 40. But will he 50? If 50 works, give him a nice big sign-on bonus. I found you can give people like really low wages and just a giant sign-on bonus and they'll accept. Bit of a crew mode hack if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, we did approach for Noah Lang. They wanted 75 million. I was like, no way. No thanks, I'll pass. So, I think we will go and sell Dahoud in January. Because we just have no need for him and he's probably 30, 40 million that'll leave, leave us with about 80 million, so... We can do something with 80 million for sure. But, um, 80 overall is Evan and Dicka. Already made his debut against Porto. Uh, let me, uh, let me know what you guys, what you guys think about this team. Where can we improve? Right now, I'm thinking Gwendozi is the weak point. So, if anybody has any ideas for a, a central midfielder, kind of a box to box, deep line playmaker, that kind of role. Because we have Ratchet on stay back while attacking. He's just classic, ball winning midfielder, physical, physical, physical. So we'll have a look then on basic support there. Let's see. Free roam. And then we'll put him on get in behind. And we'll, we'll have balanced. Josh Maja was more of like a come short target man kind of guy. Do not pause. That's not funny. Um, Troy is there in 13th. I'm, I'm going to pull a sneaky one on you guys. We're going to sim half. Campos gives us one goal. Rico got sent off. We're just going to play. We're going to jump into this one. Hopefully we can get a quick goal. Because I just don't... Like, I'm so tired of... You having, you know, a much better team. And then you quick sim it. And somehow lose 1-0. Like, it's it's really annoying. So, FIFA 23 career... career blah, 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 blah. I can't even speak today, bro. FIFA 23 career mode. Apparently there's a thing where you can, like, play the highlights. So that sounds good. That sounds fun. But honestly... They did nothing to career mode. They changed player career mode a lot. But, like, nobody cares... Apparently, you can add glasses to your coach now. That's kind of good, but whatever. Mukiele, lovely move. Back post, Santi Campos is there. The San Santi Claus special. That, that could be a title, you know. When he scores a hat-trick to win the Champions League final, I'm putting, it's a Santi Claus miracle. Something like that. Uh, that, that will give me the views. We bring in the views. Big, big, big windows for the teams in Ligon. 130 million spent for Monaco and 123 million out. Uh, even Anger is a small team, spending 50, 52, almost 53 million. Bordeaux, there's us. Lot, 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 lot of moves. A lot of players going out on loan, but uh, also clearing up the dead wood. Not much for the smaller teams. 45 million for Mets. Um, not much for Lille, so they're really going to take a beating. Uh, Nimes. So, Nice, wow, they sold a lot more players than they bought. So, that's interesting. Mama, oh, they got the Georgian goalkeeper, like Mama Darshavili, or something like that, for um, the team we just passed. I don't even remember who it was. But, um, PSG, not as much not as much signings, not as many signings as we would have sort of hoped, I guess. You know, you want them to bring in the league on talent. But as far as we're concerned, the less signings, the better for them. Um... Sure, they still have Neymar, Mbappe, and Messi up top, which is dangerous as ever. So, who knows? Interest in home ground, the Zlatan region. I kind of just have one this for fun, but not really going to do anything. Pambelli and Lakumi, not looking to sell it. I think I'm just going to air you guys on deadline day. Have fun with that. I'm not going to return the phone call. Another offer here for Farias. Yeah, I still don't. Okay, I'm going to reject all these offers here. Not looking to sell anybody that isn't transfer listed right now. Mbele is great anywhere on the right hand side. And Lakumi is our starting left center back. Honestly, ratings wise, Lakumi could be on his way out. Because he's 83 and I think he might have peaked at 83 overall. So that's an option. If you guys want to look for a left center back or a center midfielder, um, just keep in mind that we're using the October database because I started this career mode so long ago. So. Keep that in mind, Baptiste Lenard's not going anywhere. He can stay. 
quite happy to have him as our as our substitute um, attacking midfielder. He's great off the bench. All of the stats are a lie. They all feel like, you know, 80 dribbling, 85 pace is what it feels like, although it's not that much. According to the game, Slimani agrees to a one-year move to somewhere in Argentina, I think. Or maybe that's Colombia. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Everton have signed Carlos Soler for almost $130 million. That is ridiculous, I tell you. That is insane. Everton spending $130 million. You already know he's going to flop. Windows done. Windows closed. And um, big games are next. PSG, so stick around. PSG coming up next. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure if we win against PSG, we can leapfrog them in the table. Uh, Soleil can stay. Cheeky rhyme there for you. But totally content with him staying. And I'm not looking to swap anybody. So, get that out of the way. Mohamed Durami. It's a good thing we didn't sign him because he's not that high overall. Uh, yeah, I have been adding some more players to the U squad. Got some requests to sign people to, uh, to, sorry, to scout people in Bulgaria and up in the, you know, northwest. So, send a scout to Norway and Bulgaria. And I'm pretty sure we have one in France as well. Three goals in four games. You've seen Adley will be crucial as ever. That man, Kylian Mbappe. Ten goals in four games. That is, that is just ridiculous. And the fact that he's still here in season four. Like, nine times out of ten, Real Madrid would have bought him by now. In green mode. But look at the stadium. It's beautiful. No pink seats. The navy seats are back. And it looks spectacular. Ready to get this one on. We keep getting closer. Season one, we lost. Season two... We lost. Season 3, though, I think we managed to tie and almost beat them. So this season, the trend continues. We should be looking at maybe a 2-1 win is the goal, I think. I don't think we can keep a clean sheet because their attack is just insane. There's no way to keep a clean sheet. But uh, look at these stats here. Fewest goals conceded against the most goals scored. It's like Goliath versus Goliath here. Big matchup. There are the key players of the defense. John Lakumi, Liberato Kakashi. Yoros Racic and Jean-Claire Todibo there. We're jumping in to this game. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't know why. I might have accidentally cut out the part for PSG's lineup, but I'm pretty sure they got Mbappe up top, Messi and Neymar on the wings, Koke, Valverde, and Leandro Paredes in midfield, Hakimi at right back, Tagliafico at left back, Kurt Zuma and Marquinhos at the center back spots. And... Um, Donnarumma in goal. So we're going to look. Hopefully Kakashi makes a run here. We can get this one started quick. Indeed he does. Lookman plays it out quick to Kakashi. Looking to cause chaos in the box here. In the middle it's a poor, claw, poor cross. Cleared away. Lookman can try to get there first. But Valverde beats him to it. Now here is Messi. Bouncing around. He gives it away. Kakashi wins it very well. We'll play this one all the way back to Le Comte. We just want to take our time here. But Mbappe wins the header. Why is Mbappe that far out? Crazy, crazy. Koke now back to Valverde, back to Koke, one more. Got the overlapping run of Neymar. Neymar could swing it into the box. Instead, it's a great challenge by Mukiele. And now Racic escapes by one. Now here's Adley, we got the run of Adam and Lookman here. Lookman on his debut, pass one, pass another. Lookman still going. Adam and Lookman on the right foot. Welcome to Bordeaux. Thank you, all the viewers, for convincing me to sign this guy. Look at that. He just cuts inside on the right foot, right up the heart of the defense, slides onto his right foot, sends Marquinhos, and it's a lovely placed finish. 15 minutes in, PSG steamrolling their way through the defense here. Nice back heel, Messi on the left foot, saved. Neymar tries to get the Mukiele, slides to get in the way. Wow. Kakashi now, he's got space to run up the field here. Lookman making a good run. He just can't outpace Hakimi, that is the issue. We try to stop, but Kimi wins it. And now he, now, like, jeez. Hakimi, he's, he's unbeatable, honestly, in the game. The thing about FIFA is that it's just become pace equals win. And Hakimi is just completely outclassing us simply because he can run faster than us. Koke in the middle, great save by the Comte. He has probably been the most underrated player the entire save. Because I don't show you all the saves this guy makes, but he's averaging, like, five six saves a game because 
our defense is pretty leaky in the shot department. Even if we concede a few goals, Tadebo gives one away in a poor position, and Mbappe pounces on the chance. 37 minutes in here. Killing Mbappe. What a jerk. Does anybody like this guy? Seriously. Like, are there any PSG fans here? I apologize, but... What a jerk. I just... I hit B, and Tadebo just spins around and tries to take one more touch before clearing it. Mbappe pickpockets him and rockets it into the back of the net. But here we got some nice, quick 1-2 play going on from PSG. Cunha now. Back to Neymar. Cunha. Now here's Neymar again. Can't even read the names, to be honest with you. Koke now Neymar. Uh, Koke again. Now here's Neymar. One more. Ooh. Tadibo missed the interception. And Messi... It's like 117 years old. He doesn't look a day over 40. And he's scoring goals like he's 20. Tadebo has to make that interception. You can see the ball just goes right over his foot there. And Messi is there to pounce. Nothing Lacombe can do. Point blank range. We have to do better. Love the little skill there. By um, Adley Ratchet. not capable of that. But we're going to put on a little show for you guys. A little bit of swaz. A little bit of techers. You know what I'm saying? Just we need to calm down here, take a little break, just flick the R stick as many times as we can. See what kind of skill move we get. Campos gets it, we'll hold hold the ball up here a little bit. Evades a challenge and now we'll drive right in the heart of the defense. Santi Campos. Adley drops the shoulder. Great turn on the left foot. It goes just wide of the post. He's gotta score from there. Gotta score from there. Valverde now. Sixty minutes in almost. Mbappe's got lots of space here. Getting past one, he'll drive them on a cross. Great save by the Combs. Backtracking to the far post. Gets a strong hand on it. 62 minutes in here. PSG slowly backing themselves into a corner here. We're just going to look to pounce. Keeping the high pressure going here. Now Marquinhos loses it to Albert Ellis. Rachic sends Ellis in. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Kurt Zuma. Ellis is around him. To bring us level. Albert Ellis forces a great save out of the Italian shot stopper. 93 overall. He's one of the best in the game. But we have hope here, but we're just not good enough. The quality just isn't there. Strong challenge by Valverde. And now Mbappe has it all the way out wide. What can he do here? Cutting inside. Looking for looking for a chance. Forces a good save out of Lacombe again. Neymar can get there first. Back in the middle. Cleared away. Guaduzzi gets it out wide. Lookman loses it here. Rodrigo Valverde. I don't think that was Valverde. It was Diogo Jota. It's an absolute... Stunning strike. That's about as tip-top corner as you can get. And this game is just about over. I, I have no words, to be honest with you. And and part of this is my fault. I just gotta I just gotta press B more often and clear the ball. So a disappointing defeat at the hands of PSG. They're still the league leaders. Next episode, we'll play Bayern Munich. Probably s probably Sim Sabrina, Quick Sim Mets. And then maybe play half, sim half, have Leon next episode.